is a will of God, you know, to make people be lifted. And I pray for you today that by the message of God, you are entering into your season of lifting. In the name of Jesus, by the grace of God, the word says, I enter into my season of lifting. Can you document it? Say, I enter into my season of lifting. In the name of Jesus, say, Hi, Ezekiel Adelike Atairo. Enter into my season of lifting. I want you to declare this will of God concerning your life. I enter into my season of lifting. In the name of Jesus, lift up your voice and begin to declare. I enter into my season of lifting. By the word of your mouth, something great will happen. Don't stop speaking the word. Don't stop saying it. Don't stop it. Don't stop it. God is working on your behalf. God is connecting your destiny. I enter into my season of lifting. In the name of Jesus, I enter into my season of lifting. If you can speak in your dialect, hey, liberty declare, me and my family members, we enter into our season of lifting. In the name of Jesus, we enter into our season of lifting. This prayer emphasis. You emphasize this. Uh, I enter into my season of lifting. Don't stop saying it. Don't stop speaking it. Don't stop concerning it, connected to it. I enter into my season of lifting. Please don't stop. Uh, document this word. Uh, I enter into my season of lifting. In the name of Jesus, nothing is wrong with me. Psalm chapter 3 verse 3 says, But thou, O Lord, art a shield for me, my glory, and the lifter of my head. Psalm chapter 3 verse 3. Say, But thou, O Lord, art a shield for me, take note of this word, my glory, and the lifter of my head. It's better to start a day with this. It is a very important moment for you to start your day with thanksgiving and declaration unto the Lord. Don't forget God is the one that can lift up your head. You have put so much, you have schooled, you have done a lot to make your life better and super. But you discover that something is wrong somewhere. But the word of the Lord is saying that the lifter of your head, that is God. We lift up your head in the name of Jesus. The lifter of your head will lift up your head in the name of Jesus. And listen to this. There are lots of people that would love to be lifted maritally. But they are struggling for their head to be lifted. And this is the reason there is always issue between them and their spouse. A particular sister of our late memory told me. He said, they told her. That if she married to 15 husbands, that all of them will die the same way the first husband died. It means that the head of that woman is being bent down. But I pray for you today in the name of Jesus. I don't know what they have said to you maritally. They will be falling into wrong hands. You spend much your time. You spend your energy. Everything you think you know. Everything just go down that way. I pray for you today in the name of Jesus. The lifter of your head will lift up your head. In the name of Jesus, he will lift up your head. In the name of Jesus, he will lift up your head. In the name of Jesus, he will lift up your head. In the name of Jesus, lifter of your head will lift up your head. In the name of Jesus, lifter of your head will lift up your head. In the name of Jesus, lifter of your head will lift up your head. In the name of Jesus, lifter of your head will lift up your head. In the name of Jesus, lifter of your head will lift up your head. In the name of Jesus, lifter of your head will lift up your head. In the name of Jesus, lifter of your business we lift up your business in the name of Jesus lift up of your marriage we lift up your marriage in the name of Jesus lift up of your head we lift up your head in the name of Jesus lift up your career we lift up your career in the name of Jesus lift up your identity we lift up your identity in the name of Jesus lift up your destiny we lift up your destiny in the name of Jesus lift up your fruitfulness we lift up your fruitfulness in the name of Jesus lift up your joy we lift up your joy in the name of Jesus lift up your salvation we lift up your salvation 
celebration in the name of Jesus. Lift up your celebration. We lift up your celebration in the name of Jesus. Lift up your victory. We lift up your victory in the name of Jesus. Lift up your home. We lift up your home in the name of Jesus. Lift up your favor. We lift up your favor in the name of Jesus. Lift up your joy. We lift up your joy in the name of Jesus. Lift up your rejoicing. We lift up your rejoicing in the name of Jesus. Can I hear you shout the loudest? Amen. So it does not matter. The strategy they have used to pin you down. But one thing is very important today. That the lifter of your head will lift up your head. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Oh my God. This year is closing. Either we like it or not. The time is running very fast. But one thing I want you to understand. That the, your head must be lifted. Now take note of this. You don't need to think of the strategies that will lift up your head. You don't need to think of how, where to go, people to meet for your head to be lifted. But if you know God, the author and the finisher of your faith, if you know God, this same God will lift up your head. So I pray for you today by God, I lift up my hands and hold the asadata. Nako saponi maya koseplo koteplo unzara hidaya. That lift up your head would lift up your head in the name of Jesus. He better hear me. So it does not matter how many people that are great you know. It does not matter where you know them, where you have met them. It does not matter the quality you have added to yourself. There are people that have added so much quality to their own self that nothing is working. Many years ago, a particular woman brought the elder brother to me, a professor of agriculture from University of Ibadan that has gone out of order many years ago. So this man came and here it is. One of the things that amazed me that the son was one of the leading pastors, a particular church that was growing that time in Lagos, happening church somewhere at Ojota. But here it is beloved. The mother used they use our influence to draw the attention of all the children from the man. This professor of agriculture, who became professor at age 26. Listen to this. And we now get out and begin to drink. You know what it means? He forget himself. We got drunk and begin to walk up and down. As a matter of fact. And the Lord said to me, this man must not go to his house. He must take some time off from school, from the house, from the house where they gave to the staff cutter, they gave to him. A certain things God showed me in that place. And listen to this. A man that had been lifted, the power of terror torments that man. And the problem of that man started from the wife. And listen to this. This man entered into depression. And I say, this man must be around for the three days we are going to be praying. So the sister of the house, Asuru Lere, Lagos, Nigeria, and bring the man every day. And to the glory of God, the third day, this man was able to regain himself. The lifter of his head, lift up his head. I pray for you today in the name of Jesus. It does not matter what they have done to you. I think he became professor at age 36. I think 36, yes. I don't know exactly what they have project against your life. Or the evil platform that at work against your life. I declare in the name of Jesus. Let that platform cross in the name of Jesus. Let it cross in the name of Jesus. Let it cross in the name of Jesus. They knew that your marriage will add value to you. They knew that if your head is good, that you will do well. And they look for a way to frustrate your marriage, to frustrate your head, to frustrate your relationship. To frustrate the communication between you and God. Alaro Pako Sadita. Hene Kurusa Pani Naya Kotoruza Adaye. Hinakota Broko Seploni Mayan Tekete Azia. Hananamo Soplo Kutayada. La Kosari Paluta. Elegi Nemo Turose Eteketeda. Nakoske Ponu Manundu Klekeni Nemo Suruta Hata. 
na nini mtukuru rebo soru taya kitayeza halaru sapolu mbatu kata ye ina kuturu bolo koskeri ntayadea ina kutaru za deketeri da udaposo kutupla unda ya kateza na na kusapoli mayaru asere ele kurundu bokoto blokus karadi hata ana koserede ele kuraruda bosarote ele kunda mokoste pone mayarosa ana kosa palaba i'm seeing a family now you discover in your family no head is lifted you have your siblings that are very brilliant but none of them go to school <laughs> The Bible say that the head of your family members have been pressed down by the oppressor that live within the family. The Lord is saying, in my speaking, the Lord took me to that family. The Lord is saying, tell that family, I'm going to visit them and renew their years. The Lord said to me, some of them are doing things, they struggle to get up, but they never get up. The one that is struggling to go to school, they are frustrating that one day by day. Anakora so tayadia, ananumu tukuru sede ketayura, eleru so pako tali ndakatera rose kete, nanumu turade, inakoskeri malukoto, rinketerida, inakuru se poluda, anakoskaru te pokuntari ndakatoda poli mayaria, enekeris kaponi marusa. He said, I will now stand up. Up as a God, the lifter of their head, Allah kosoruteri inne koro pokoto da pone maya rosketeni na ya suata. The Lord said in that family, I've said to lift up people that will be globally recognized. Allah rosa pole podo tayate da yesa hele koso polo ba ya rosketeni kete bo soruta. La korade le rose ina kosia na rose ke poto pla inda kasira na na mo. Sapoli mayaba sotopla. The Lord is saying to me, if you know you have marital issue, you have marital challenge. You have marital challenge, so you should stretch your hands. He wants to drop into your hands a new order for marital stability, for marital control, for marital favor. Please, I did not see you. Nobody is seeing you where you are. If you have marital challenge and you know that you have it, stretch your hands. There is another woman. You are very beautiful. Your act is going to a particular married man. The Lord is saying he wants to control you. He wants to give you a better marriage. Allah ko sapalaba. That where you are going is not the place you ought to go. The Lord is saying it's a wasting of time and wasting of energy because my eyes is not there for you. Search your hands if you know you have marital challenge. Hanna ko saponi maro sete yadea. Ne kuruze le regadu no mukuturandi and da kutsadu da poli modu koske dandia. En ne kuruzia ana kusapolu to yezia and na kutsa bloko serida linketeria unu kose poli mayo konto plahosia. Li karo se te keni malu zarua and na kusapoli malikateri ni keturuske punu manu tanda yazia. E le kuru se poluda la kuska pali. Na kurazi ate le kuru se polu mayaru sketezia. Anamo tuka nuntupla kuja. E ne kurasuta palinda andakusa rote. Le kuru se inakusa. Na kuja palida. E le kurasu plakita linda kose polu ba. The Lord is saying, your heart, what you are saying, what is the thought is coming to your heart. Or now to go. He said to me, I'm dropping something into their heart. The next moves. I will train them. I will teach them. I will guide them. I will usher them. I will order them. I will tell them. Naro seketo ruja. I've seen a woman saying, Oh Lord, hear my cry. La rosi palute legete, la rosi poko tu planina monsarute ketezia, inu kuruze, inda kutaruza, ana kuto bloko tarida ketere da rose karane matuda, ele kurasu pali da ba sompo kotebla, ina kuseretia, na radude la kuta pori mayaria. The Lord is saying, "Ma, I am coming by mercy to visit them, but those who are ready." 
Mercy for the people that are ready. Anna Kosaro Tapaloda Laketablo Koskin in the Precasia. I pray for you today. I command by God in the name of Jesus. Let God readjust your life. In the name of Jesus, let the Lord readjust your life. In the name of Jesus, let the Lord readjust your life. In the name of Jesus, let the Lord readjust your life. In the name of Jesus, let the Lord readjust your life. In the name of Jesus. Now you have earth challenge and you know. Let us say I should pray for you. And no say plunu motorazia. In Nako se rota prolu da dida and da koske polu mayude in the hasia. The Lord said to me, one day that thing came into your life, and I want to use a day to remove it. But the word of the Lord is saying, Are you really ready? Are you really ready? Don't you have option? When you have option, I will keep my own. So the Lord is speaking to that family or that person that you have a challenge. You have been moving around with a particular medication. Why are you moving around with it? That you may have attack. And if there is no medication around, you may die. The Lord is saying, I want to heal you. I want to say to you, many doctors have come to you. Too many people have touched your hands. They have touched your body. I lift up my hands upon that person right now. I declare today in the name of Jesus, let the healing power flow. In the name of Jesus, the Lord will lift up your head. In the name of Jesus, the Lord will lift up your head. In the name of Jesus, a better amen. I declare today by God in the name of Jesus, the Lord will not pass you by. There is a man. Your wife is having a challenge. The Lord is saying, I am touching your wife. I am healing your wife. I am settling your wife. Oh my God, I am comforting your wife. In the name of Jesus, I am doing the better for your wife. In the name of Jesus, I am concluding your wife. In the name of Jesus, I am perfecting your wife. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I am making all things work for your wife. In the name of Jesus, a better amen. You have a child also that have a challenge. Let there be healing upon that child. In the name of Jesus, the child will not be sick again. In the name of Jesus, the air challenge disappear. In the name of Jesus, the Lord take over. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, in Jesus' name we pray. By the grace of God, is a great time and great season again. Tomorrow, by the grace of God, I will be coming with this same topic. Oh my God, oh my God, this about lifting. The Lord is saying, I want to leave them before the closing of this year. And they must be ready to receive me. The Lord will honor you in the name of Jesus.